Hello Sabre fans, I thought I'd give a, a brief overview of this latest Sabre I completed just a few weeks ago. Some of you may uh, recognize this design. It's a um, sloth furnace derelict. This one here is done in full MHS parts, nothing custom. The only thing that I did custom was some machining of this uh, shroud. Of course, uh, screws in the MHS handle here, and for the button screws. And now this this here is a, an Ultra Sabers pommel, Guardian pommel. Um, at the time, I didn't have access to uh, an orbital machining TPM pommel, so this was a good alternative. I can I think considering my D ring here is a. Not a triangle one, so I did a little bit of variation. Of course, it has this control box with the recharge port and so forth. But I think it's a fair representation of uh, what Brad made. You can see I put some grooves here in this uh, MHS sleeve using a pipe cutter. That was a bit tricky. I probably should have done it before I did all the cutouts, but it worked out in the end. And I also, if you look closely, you can see that I did a radial sanding on on this. And when I did the weathering, it filled in those grooves and kind of gave it a nice a nice texture, I think. It looks a lot like the, the Graflex part, the original part, um, as far as the, the texture goes. I got a brass thumb, knurled thumb screw here. Fake Graflex part. And, um, yeah. I think it turned out pretty well. See, it's got some dings and knockups. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on. It's the kill key here. You notice I uh, did some some fine detailing there. I put a little dot and a little groove around it. Kind of set it off. I'm thinking about it might weather this or do a little more to it, but I like it. And so let's go ahead and. Put a blade in here and see what it looks like. Tighten this down. Now it's running a tri rubble RGB with a lithium ion 3.7 volt, 3400 milliamp Panasonic battery from the Custom Saver Shop, an igniter mini, uh, illuminated anti vandal switch. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we have an orange blade. Blue lock up there. I like that contrast. And One of my favorite fonts, Mad Cow's Vader. It also has a rumble motor. It's really turned up here with this Vader font. I thought it goes really well with it. You can, you can almost hear it. Blaster blocks. Orange flash. And I uh, use the dual phase in this one for the force effects sounds. I thought that fit better. Let's pick a different color. Of course we have the Saber Cinema stuff, which is really cool. Different color, more Jedi theme here. Nice bright blue. That's full blue, nothing mixed. I thought that fit really good with this font. With a cyan flash. Red block up. One more. 
nice green here. And you can just feel that rumble motor, it's just awesome. Alright, here's the rumble motor I use. This was a suggestion from Nigon. I really like it. It's no moving parts, it's all self-contained. You can just uh, double-sided tape that right into here, right where you hold it. You just feel it. It's very strong. And it doesn't seem to interfere with the electronics. Let's go and take a look at the inside real quick here. Put that in there. Now, I, another thing I did is... I'm going to need the power on for this is I did I took cues from many of the other Sabre Smiths who have some really good ideas and this is my first attempt and I created a PVC chassis very reminiscent of what Matt Cal does the, the zip ties to hold everything in place a little uh, plastic shield here just in case nothing's gonna move these clips here are pretty awesome but uh, just, just in case, I put a little. I got everything nice and tidy. You can see. Took about three evenings to wire this all up. I'm a big, big stickler on everything being nice, clean, tidy. These clips are awesome. This thing is not, not moving. It was a little bit tricky to figure out how to do that. There is um, a little bit of a trick to it. Uh, these flanges here, these little clips, are actually sanded down because when the board's in there, it flexes it out. And you can see there's rub mark here. So when this goes on here, there's just enough tension on there that these flange, these these clips aren't going to move. But when it's out like this, you can actually you can see that maybe a little bit. You can flex them out and get the board out. So that thing is not moving. So this is it. This is my uh, derelict derelict tribute and uh, thanks hope you like it I do